Greetings, everyone. This is The Hipster Snack, and today I am trying out for the first time Planescape Torment Enhanced Edition. My good buddy Dutaku insisted that I give this a try, and I figured, hey, this would be a good first impression, and uh, we'll see where this takes us. There was a little bit of a cutscene that I couldn't record, but eh, let's get into it. This is based in D&D, so I get to design my character. And, let's see, I get 21 points. Oh good, it gives me the breakdown for everything that we need. Right. This is D&D, so 9 is... Uh, can I not change my name? <laughs> Am I just stuck as nameless one? Well, let's see. I'm gonna bump my strength up a bit. Above average strength and constitution. A couple of points in charisma couldn't hurt. Can I go down? I cannot go down below average. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was that kind of game or not. Uh, and eye coordination. Should probably bump that up just to have a little bit on the defensive side. I don't know if this is a good build or not. This is just what I'm going on purely on instinct, so... Uh, I don't... Yeah, I really can't change that name. Okay, this is what we're going with. Let's do it! As I said, I've never played this game before, but I've heard of it. I am familiar. Hey, Chief. Whoa. You okay? You playing corpse or you putting the blinds on the dusties? Huh. I thought you were a deader for sure. Uh, who are you? Uh, who am I? How about you start? Who are you? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. You can't remember your name. Well, next time you spend the night in this burg, go easy on, go easy on the bub. Name's Mort. <laughs> Not Mort, of course. I'm trapped here too. Trapped. Yeah, since you haven't had time to get your legs yet, here's the chant. I've tried all the doors, and this room is locked tighter than a chastity belt. <laughs> wow. Okay. We're locked in where? Where is this place? It's called the Mortuary. It's a big black structure with all the architectural charm of a pregnant spider. Am I dead? Not from where I'm standing. You got scars aplenty, though. Looks like some Burke painted you with a knife. Oh, this guy has, uh... Mort's got quite the way with words. All the more reason to give the place the laugh before whoever carved you up comes back to finish the job. Scars, how bad are they? Well, the carvings on your chest aren't too bad. The ones on your back... Mort pauses. Say, it looks like you've got a whole tattoo gallery on your back, Chief. Spells out something. Tattoos, what do they say? Looks like you come with directions. Mark clears this here. Let's see. It starts with, I know you feel like you're drinking a few kegs of Styx wash, but you need to center yourself. Among your possessions is a journal that'll shed some light on the dark of the matter. Farad can fill you in on the rest of the chant if he's not in the dead book already. Farad doesn't say anything else. Yeah, there is a bit more. More pauses. Let's see. It goes on. Don't lose a journal, or it'll be up the sticks again. And whatever you do, do not tell anyone who you are or what happens to you, or they'll put you in a quick pilgrimage to the crematorium. Do what I tell you. Read the journal. Find Farad. No wonder my back hurts. There's a novel <laughs> written there. As for that journal I'm supposed to have with me, was there one when I was lying here? No, you were stripped to the skins when you arrived here. Besides, looks like you got enough of a journal pinned on your body. What about Farad? Do you know him? Nobody I know, but then again, I don't know many people. Still, some Burks gotta know where to find Farad, uh, once we get out of here, that is. How do we get out of here? Not all the doors are locked. We need the key. Chances are one of the walking corpses in the room has it. Walking corpses? Yeah, the mortuary keepers use dead bodies as cheap labor. The corpses are dumb as stones, but they're harmless, and they won't attack you unless you attack first. In some way, just attack... Do I just attack them? Well, before you do that, arm yourself first. I think there's a scalpel on one of the shells here. Search the shells in the room with the weapon to attack the zombies with. Once you find one, go to the inventory screen, the backpack, and arm yourself. If you wish to examine the items, right-click on them. All right, I'll go look for one. One last thing. Corpses are slow as molasses, but getting punched on one of them is like being kissed by a battering ram. If they start getting on edge on you, remember you can run, and they can't. Use it to get some distance if you need to recover. Either toggle run on the option screen or hold down shift and left-click. Okay. Alright, thanks for the advice. 
Combat log, quick loot, formations about, select all. There is a, there's a lot going on here. Party members, combat log, quick loot. This is old school, and I, I kind of miss this. Select weapons, select spells, select abilities, start dialogue. Resting is permitted, the party rests and restores hit points and spells. Okay, there's a lot Gone. happening here, but uh. uh okay, I can't mouse any further north. What do we got? Bandages! Couldn't hurt to have those on hand. The slab is covered with dried blood and other remains. Can I. Okay, arrow keys I can mouse around with. That helps a little bit. Let's see. Someone in the middle of a dissecting in the middle of dissecting this corpse. Ah, fog of war. Alright. Alright, found the scalpel. Nice. Okay. I'm not ready to attack just yet. I was gonna oh, I was gonna look around for more items, but maybe it's time. Alright, you found the scalpel. Now, go get those corpses. And don't worry, I'll stay back and provide valuable tactical advice. <laughs> Maybe you could help, Mort. I will be helping you. Good advice is hard to come by. Ugh, alright then. Time to introduce these corpses to the second death, then. A, also tax... Okay, so, let me... Put this in my hand. Looks good. Don't want to part with that. <laughs> Game's got a sense of humor. I appreciate that. Mort. Uh, he can attack. He actually does have attack stats. Okay. His armor classes and HP are way lower than mine, so... Uh, okay, that's the stat screen. I'm learning some of these shortcut keys as we go, because I'm so used to WASP controls. Uh, let's see. Let's go over here. There's a couple of them. I don't know if they're all going to aggro if I attack one, so I should probably plan on attacking one on the far end, just so I can limit how many of these guys feel like joining the party. This corpse stops and stares blankly at you as you approach. Number 782 is carved into its forehead, and his lips have been stitched closed. A faint smell of formaldehyde emanates. Uh, examine. The corpse looks like the one with the key it is holding it tightly in its left hand. It's on forefinger locked around it in a death grip. It looks like you'll need to hack the corpse's hand off to free it. I have the key, corpse. Looks like you're not long for this world. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Preparation room key. Is there any downside to killing the rest of them? I'm really against necromancy on the whole, so I think I'm just going to destroy these guys. 825. It was great talking to you. Farewell. Oops. Oh, okay. A toggles. And then I can just, like, open Stale. the Destroy these guys before they become a problem for me. Cool. All right. I think these guys are just kind of going to be a ditto for what we just got done with. Psst, here's some advice, Chief. I keep quiet. Keep it quiet from here on. No need to put any more corpses in the dead book than necessary, especially the fens. Plus, killing them might draw the caretakers here. Uh, I want to ask all these questions. I don't think you mentioned them before. Who are the caretakers? Caretakers call themselves the Dustmen. You can't miss them. They have an obsession with black and rigor mortis of the face. They're an adult bunch of ghoulish death worshippers. They believe everybody should die sooner or better than later. I'm confused. What, why do these Dustmen care if I escape? Were you listening? I said the Dusties believe everybody's got to die sooner sooner or better than later. You think the corpses you've seen are happier in the dead book than out of it? The corpses I've seen here, where did they come from? Death visits the plains every day, Chief. These shamblers are all that's left of the poor sods who sold their bodies to the caretakers after death. 
Before you said something about making sure I didn't kill female corpses, why? What? Are you serious? Look, Chief, these dead jits are the last chance for a couple of hardy bashers like us. No need to be that, no need to be chivalrous. No hacking them up for keys, no lopping their limbs off, things like that. Last chance, what are you talking about? Chief, they're dead. We're dead. See where I'm going? I don't, actually. <laughs> Chief, we've already got an opening line with these limping ladies. They're, we've all died at least once, so we'll have something to talk about. They'll appreciate men with our kind of death experience. Did you say before that I'm not dead? Well, alright, you might not be dead, but I am. <laughs> from, since, from where I'm standing, I wouldn't mind sharing a coffin with some of these fine sinewy cadavers I see here. I guess when you're nothing but a floating skull, your standards take a nosedive. Mort starts clacking his teeth as if in anticipation. Of course, the caretakers have to part with him first, and that's not likely. Alright, I'll try to remember that. Look, Chief, it's obvious you still got a little addled after your kiss with death, so I got two bits of advice for you. One, if you've got, uh, if you've got questions, ask me, alright? Take so the party member, talk like the talk option from the quick menu, and left click on the party members to speak to. Alright, I will ask you. Second, if you're half as forgetful as you seem to be, start writing stuff down. Whenever you come across something that might be important, jot it down so you don't forget. If I had that journal I was supposed to have with me, I'd do that. Start a new one, then, Chief. No loss. There's plenty of parchment ink around here to last you. Alright, couldn't hurt. I'll make a new one, then. Use it to keep track of your movements. You ever start to get cloudy on important things like who you are, or more importantly, who I am, use it to refresh your memory. All right. Updated my journal. Okay, let's have a look around then. If these guys aren't going to aggro, I guess there's no need to destroy them. Especially if Mort is that determined for company. So, okay, that door just opens. That's good. It's making me flash back to my days with the first Diablo. I played that game so much. Uh, nothing to be taken. These are just zombie workers. I don't think these guys are going to mess with me. There's someone to speak to. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but I guess we're going to try. The scribe looks very old. His skin is wrinkled and has a slight trace of yellow, like old parchment. Charcoal gray eyes lie within an angular face, and a large white beard flows down the front of his robe like a waterfall. His breathing is ragged and irregular, but even his occasional coughing does not slow the scratching from his quill pen. Uh, greetings. Whoa, Chief, what are you doing? As soon as we can describe, might know something about how I got here. Look, rattling your bone box with dusties should be the last thing. Before Mort can finish his rant, the scribe begins coughing violently. After a moment or two, the coughing spell dies down, the scribe's breathing resumes its ragged wheeze. And we especially shouldn't be swapping the chant with sick dusties. Come on, let's leave. The quicker we get to this place, the better. Before Mort can finish, the scribe's gray eyes flicker to you. The weight of years hangs heavy upon me, restless one. He places down his quill. But I do not yet count deafness among my ailments. Restless one, do you know me? Know you? I. There's a trace of bitterness in the scribe's voice. I have never known you, restless one. No more than you have known yourself, he's silent for a moment. For you have forgotten, have you not? Who are you? As always, the question. And the wrong question, as always, he bows slightly. But the movement suddenly sends him into a bat of coughing. I, he pauses, catching his breath. I am dull. Perhaps you can answer Updated questions. Updated my from... journal. Very well, what do you wish to know? What is this place? Mortuary, restless one. Again, you have come. He a bit of coughing. He calms himself. This is the waiting room for those about to depart in the shadow of this life. Okay, tell me about it. This is where the dead are brought to be interred or cremated. It is our responsibility as dustmen to care for the dead. Those who have left the shadow of life and walked the path to true death. Dahl's voice drops in concern. Your wounds must have exacted a heavy toll if you don't recognize this place. It is almost your home. The shadow of life. Yes, a shadow, you see, restless one. This life, it is not real. Your life, my life, they are shadows, flickerings of what life once was. This life is where we end up after we die, and here we remain trapped, caged, until we can achieve true death. What's that? True death is non-existent, state devoid of reason, a sensation of passion. Dog coughs, a state of purity. Can you tell me more about the mortuary? Where well, the dead are brought to be interred or cremated. So, dustmen. Dustmen are a faction, a gathering of those like us that recognize the illusion of this life. We await the next life and help others on their journey. Perhaps you would explain why the dustmen want me dead. They said that there are souls who can never attain the true death. Death has forsaken them, and their names shall never be penned in the dead book. To await from the death as you have done suggests you have one of these souls. Resistance is unacceptable to our faction. Doesn't sound like it leaves me in a good position. You must understand, resistance is a blasphemy to them. Many of our faction would order you cremated if they were aware of your affliction. You don't seem in favor of killing me. Why not? 
Forcing our beliefs upon you is not just. We must look up the shadow of life on our own, not because we force you to. Uh, as long as I remain at my post, I will protect your right to search for your own truth. What is your post? I am a scribe, a cataloger of all the shells that come to the mortuary. As long as the stream of corpses flows through the mortuary, I shall remain at my post. I have some other questions. Can you tell me how to get out of here? Front gate is the most obvious exit, but they will not let anyone other than Dustman pass. The doll breaks to a ragged cough. One of the guides, but the front gate has a key to it, but it's unlikely he will open it unless you are extremely persuasive. I see. Do you... No, he said he doesn't know who I am, so I'm going to skip that. You sound ill. Are you not well? I'm close now to the true death, restless one. It will not be long before I am passed beyond the eternal boundary and find the peace I have been seeking, a tire of this mortal sphere. The plane holds no more wonders for one such as I. Eternal boundary. Boundary between the shadow of this life and the true death. Okay. Uh, what do you do here, anyway? Scribe, cataloger... Okay, we're good. To turn to leave, Dahl speaks. Know this, I do not envy you, restless one. To be reborn as you would be a curse that I could not bear. You must come to terms with it. At some point, your path will return you here. It is, all the, it is the way of all things flesh and bone. Then perhaps we'll meet again, Dahl. Well, he was pretty helpful, all told. Gate is sealed shut, no means of opening it. Dead end. I mean, all in all, he was pretty helpful. I mean, a little cryptic, sure, but I've been on the internet long enough to recognize that type. Let's see. Sweet nothing. Awesome. I love this old school adventure gothic atmosphere. There really is something to be said for it. Can't go that way. So what if we go across? Well, we're getting somewhere. I just don't know where yet. Stand showing this corpse is truly nauseating. Someone split open this man's chest and has yet to remove the internal organs. Let's raid the stuff for all the goodies we can get our hands on. Never hurts to have more bandages on hand. Lots of stuff to explore, and not a whole lot of items between them. Oh, I was going to say, there's someone standing there who's not a corpse. I'll raid this place first, and then I'll try talking to them. If they attack me, I'll just kill them. I mean, what have I got to lose at this point? Probably a dustman, but you never know. See, a slight young woman with pale features. Sunken flesh around her cheeks and neck makes her appear as if she is starving. She seems in dissecting the corpse in front of her, prodding the chest with her finger. The woman does not respond. She seems to intend the body in front of her. As you watch her work, you suddenly notice her hands. Her not fingers are talons. They're darting in and out of the corpse's chest cavity. What's wrong with your hands? The woman makes no response. Updated my journal. She's a tiefling, chief. They got fiend blood in their veins. Usually because their ancestor, their shared knickers with one demon or another. Makes them an addled in the head and addled looking. I kind of feel like I should back off at this point. With my luck in these kind of games, she'll either want to date me, or murder me, or, with my luck being what it is, both. Mm, nothing... Let's see... Come on, pick, pick, pick it up a notch. Wait, he said there was a run option, right? Oh. Oh, there's a whole bunch of neat stuff that you can... Okay, cool. Alright, this should help me get around a little bit more efficiently. Okay. Lots and lots and lots of dead ends. Ah, there's a door. Here we go. We're getting somewhere now. Doesn't seem like I can... I'm limited on how much I can run, so that's good. As for Tieflings, probably one of the least interesting concepts from a fandom perspective. Everyone always picks them because, OMG, the edgy hotness, but none of them have really come up with really interesting and compelling ideas. What is this? 
embalming fluid. I don't know why I want it, but I'm an adventurer, so I'm gonna take it. You never know. I'm gonna check those stairs out here in just a minute. Yeah, I think I'm out of options now. Nothing. Check this corner real quick. Door's locked, you'll need a key. Alright. So, what's the deal? Okay, I can't go down, but I can go up. I don't know, maybe this is a good thing. I'm gone. Uh, why is everything on fire? You there, hold. Uh, Dustman regards you, Stony Gaze. Are you lost? Yes. I'll summon a guard to direct you out. <laughs> Let's take the violent route out of this. In other words, your hand clamps to his temples. You twist his head sharply to the left. Can't have you learning your friends. Better you than me, Dusty. <laughs> Name was, <laughs> to your surprise, the act seemed instinctual, as you had done it many times before. Thought comes a string of memory, but is not strong enough to surface. Okay, that's certainly interrupt. Ooh, a knife. Plot charm. And robes. Okay, we are getting somewhere. I am not a murder hobo kind of player, to be clear. But... A charm. What does that do? I mean, okay, right click, right. Heals nine. Slash. Okay, it's a basic, like, damage resist charm. I'll take it. Dustman robe. No actual armor class, but it is a cosmetic disguise. Okay, that should help at least a little bit. At least with the whole subterfuge thing. I do not usually default to just offing people left and right. That's not my MO. But if it's between having to get thrown back downstairs or offing one guy who would definitely be against me if he knew my true nature. Yeah, you know what? It is better him than me. Bombing charm. Mortuary task list. Let's have a look at that. Someone pinned a series of tasks in red ink on the scrap parchment. I would like to, the contracted workers to be inspected thrice daily at the end of each work shift when the new initi initiates come on duty. I've experienced too many contracted collapses while engaged in heavy labor as of late, and I fear embalming enchantments initially used in the corpses may be decaying or even have warped somehow. And the contracted workers could be inspected every eight hours and raised if they have collapsed, and this would prevent the backlog of shells in the preparation rooms and free up more contracted workers for other duties. I do not wish collapsed bodies to be disposed of. When possible, the original contracted shells are to be raised and be made to resume their duties. I have included spare embalming charms within the shells for the initiates on duty. They are to be used only when the shells cannot be repaired with stitching, bandaging, or applications of embalming fluid. Three charges, only used on Nameless One and Mort. Strange metal braces, directions inscribed on the side of it. Judging from the crew text, it appears that a bracelet works by being held by a living creature. Pronouncing a mantra to the true death, it is touched to the forehead of a zombie or skeleton. When this is done, the minor enchantment held within the item spreads through the corpse and strengthening their bones, killing traces of corpse rot and or grave mold, and helping to seal minor tears in the skin. Place in your quick item slot and use it. Plus two to eight temporary hit points, and a temporary bonus of plus one AC for a half hour. An extra hit points will heal the target. It has max hit points, or they will give him bonus hit points. Okay, all right. Oops. Forgot to steal everything not nailed down. Oh, if that stacks, that's great. I bet it does. Okay, so I can have five charms on at a time, looks like. Container is locked. That one already had nothing in it. Right, right. Bandages. Like, do I want to go this way? Air roaring from the mouth of an immense furnace, incredibly hot, walking fumes fuse steps past the archway, cause your hair and flesh to burn into flame. Nope, definitely don't want to go that way, then. Uh, maybe you can direct me. 
taking a bit of a risk here. Maybe this woman is dressed in long dark robes. She has something musty smell about her. Expression is blank. Greetings. Turns in her eyes like her greetings, fellow initiate. I had some place, some questions. Doesn't as patiently. You know someone named Farad. That name doesn't pause his... That name sounds familiar. It's Nicole Collector by that name. Dalton Scrivener might know him. He said he didn't! Collector. Collector, they gather those who have died in the streets of Sigil and bring them here to the mortuary. You're not from around here, are you? I'm new here, trying to keep my bearings. You're not one of us. What are you doing? Are you a member of the Anarchist or a spy from another faction? Let's see... Do I really want to go on a killing streak in order to get myself out of here? You know what? Let's just run. Leave quickly. Great iron bell starts tolling throughout the mortuary. Alright, then... Oh, she's attacking me anyway. Jeez, I should have just gone full murder, hobo. Okay, I need to stop double-clicking. That's making things worse for me. See that? Always time to loot. Okay, so we're in a little bit of trouble now. Does he like rotate what weapons he uses? Okay. Almost certainly terrible way for start things. Yep, they're all aggro now. So so much for stealth. Did you see that? Okay, awesome. I do not want to resort to just killing everything in sight, but that's what we're doing now. No, I wanted a quick loot. Okay. Actually, put up another one. Is it unequip? Oh, I can put stuff on him. Yeah, that way you that way you have a uh, little defense. It's, hadn't thought of that. Sorry, Mort. Not like I wasn't trying to look out for you or anything. Just you know, you're ahead, so I wasn't really thinking about it. Done. Okay, how do I get everyone back together again? Um, I'm gone. Great. Yeah. You know what? I bet I can. Yep. I'm gone. Jeez. Went nice on someone one time, and now this is my the reward I reap. So everyone just has to die. <laughs> Makes you guys feel any better? It's not really your fault. It's the fault of that one lady who just wouldn't cooperate. So you know, ultimately you can blame her. A attack! What are you doing? Attack! I like the tense music, though. The zombie worker looks a little different. Oh, wait, no. He looks the same, but that skeleton looks different. Alright. Reminder message. Piece of parchment. This is the third and last request for the pry bar. If it has been misplaced, tell me, and I shall go to the hive market and purchase another. I have no objection to maintaining the contracted workers, but I've been trying to repair the skeletons, and the bolts are wedged in so tight I can't get them out. Also, some of the locks in the storage cabinets on the third floor become stuck again due to the heat, and I need the pry bar to snap them open as well. If the pry bar is indeed lost, I'll just procuring the services of a locksmith and having the cabinets replaced. Your aid in the matter would be appreciated. Well, I guess even death cults have to deal with bureaucracy. I think I'm going in circles, aren't I? 
Yep, that's the furnace. I am definitely, indeed, going in circles. Do I have a map? Yes, I do. Torium stairs are the second level, so I need to start heading kind of like southwest-ish. Door's locked. Ah, Sanctum Key. Here we go. I don't know if this is the Sanctum or not, but we can certainly try. Yes, it is. So I can get some valuable insight here, or not. Hammer. should be a way in here. Where's the door? No, there is no door. I can literally just walk in. I just had to go further south. Whoops! Hi, guys! Attack. Please do something. Thankfully, I went with the combat build, so I don't feel too underprepared. Huh? Okay. All right, I can make you carry stuff. I'm gone. Dustman request. Ah, pry bar. Hey guys, found a pry bar. Doubt that'll ingratiate me to Sure, why not? That voice, right. Mort's voice sounds familiar. I think I know that, that voice from somewhere. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's stop and assess our inventory situation here. One to six, one to three, one to three, three, one to six, one to six. So, in essence, I should go like full bashing, basically. Put my robes back on. I can't use any of it, but he can hold on to it for me. Here, take a few of these. Did you, I was gonna say, did you drink that? I probably don't need to hold on to these, so I'm gonna have more hold on to the papers for now. I don't know how much. Can you put on robes? Yeah, but I didn't think he could. Not having a body does make wearing clothes kind of difficult. I'll keep the pry bar over there, just so I can have a little bit of organization to all this. Okay, I think I am optimized at the very least. Kind of. And I've completed my circuit around the floor. I did not actually find stairs. Wait, there's stairs over there? Since when? Down to the second level, down to the second They're both down to the second level. Maybe that's why. Okay. Crap, that bell's still going, which means everything that I've ignored up to this point is still very much alive. You know what? Maybe now... Alright. Sweet. Alright, let's go. You know what? It's whatever. Let's just smash these guys to bits. Die! I'm gone. Tome of Bone and Ash. It's worn leather-bound tome, lists diagrams and charts detailing several minor wards and enchantments. There are numerous drawings of skeletons, bones, and the manner by which they're being preserved over time. Of particular interest, the section regarding guardians, dust animate corpses of fallen giants, to serve as guardians for the mortuary, to make them even deadlier, armoring enchantments are woven into their breastplates to help shield them from attacks. The book is too much complex for you to absorb all at once, and it looks like you can refer to certain sections when the need arises. Okay, so that's probably a warning for a boss about to happen. I have the best weapons I can get my hands on, so... Crap. You guys did not waste any time on that foreshadowing, huh? Uh, did you see that? I'm oh. hurt. Jeez, run. Nope, this is a terrible situation. 
We just gotta leg it for now, guys. I don't know what I expected. You know what? We can probably take these guys without too much danger. What's up, Chief? Okay. I'm gone. You know what? I have this thing. How do I use it? How do I equip it? Okay. Maybe that'll help. Still a little unclear on how that's going to work, but... Get him! Dirty rat charm? What? Usable only by thieves. I don't think I... Oh, no, I'm a fighter class, but I don't remember making that conscious decision. Maybe you had assigned a class based on your stat distribution. I didn't actually look very closely at that. That's on me, so... Those giant guys are no joke, though. Uh, is that door? There is no door. That's a wall. Another rusted blood covered slab. Don't suppose I can rest here, huh? Cannot rest in this area, of course not. Let me think. Hey, what's eating you, Chief? Uh, how do I use these bandages? You you use them, staunch bleeding and all that. Right click on them. Thanks. I hate that I have to go through all of them, but I'm in kind of rough shape right now. It'll have to do. What was that? And why? I don't see any status ailment. It's like the giants give up pursuit, or they're that slow. Ha! Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! It is, as they say, to laugh. I could sit here and just let myself recover. But where's the fun in that? Maybe, if we gang up on them... Maybe I can power my way through this. My jaw is hanging on by a thread, but you would you give me a hand here? <laughs> Die. Well, you killed my little buddy and now I'm probably next. Don't let it end like this. <laughs> ah, these old oh, games certainly were unforgiving. Stiff. Okay. I probably did something catastrophically wrong. I'm gonna stop there for now, but as first impressions go, I really like this. This is really cool. I want to see where this goes. If you guys want to see me revisit this, or maybe even a full playthrough of this, leave some comments down below, maybe telling me what the heck I did wrong. I thought I was being pretty thorough in investigating everything, but maybe I wasn't. Alright, this has been The Hipster's Neck, and this was Planescape Torment Enhanced Edition. I will see you guys in the next one.